Dude, I swear if you want the job, I'll do it for you. I can see why you're in jail, you don't listen. Don't take your hands off the wall. Don't turn around. I swear I'll kill you. Bad move. You in here? Pete! Pete! Pete, where are you? Is that, is that really you, Cody? Yes, sir. Here, I'll help you out. Oh, oh thank you, boy. Sit over here. Oh. Oh. What the fuck is going on? Now, now, now hold on just a second. Now, you still not so big I can't take you across my knee. Yes, sir. Sorry about that. Was it some kind of jailbreak or something? And where's the sheriff? Well, you tell me. How am I supposed to know? Well, you, you, you got his shotgun. I took it off that prison dude that tried to kill me. Oh. And Miss Mary. Well, that's that's why I'm back here. I, she 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 just stopped off to grab me off something to eat on her way to the the Bible study group at the church, and 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 then I I, I saw that fella jump on her and and start stabbing her, and and I, I just knew there wasn't anything I could do, so. That's why I ran back here. Sorry about Miss Mary. Hell, yeah. she's with Jesus now. Lord, I just wish I could have told her how much I loved her just one more time. She was a good lady. Well, you know, she, she always said, you never know when your number's going to get called. She, 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 said, she said, do right by your enemies. She, she always said, tell the ones that you love how much they mean to you. And, and, and she always stressed, get right with the Lord. Because one day, one day you're going to be standing Pete! there before the throne of... I was at church last Sunday. I heard what Pastor Odell said. 
Well, she always said I got a little carried away. Is there anything new on the scanner this morning? Oh. Anything different? Let me think. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. A couple hours ago, I remember the sheriff saying something, something about a bus wreck out on the highway by your folks' place. What? It, it was, it was, a, it was a, a bus turned over on its side on the highway out by the Upton place. Was it a prison bus? Well, I, I, I don't know. You, you think that's got anything to do with all this? Any more shells? Oh, I, I got some out to the house. That really ain't gonna help me much now, is it? Oh, uh, Cody, Cody, would you, you do me a favor? Would you, would you stop by Marley's place and, and check on her? She's all alone out there. I will. Right after I go check on my folks, I promise. <laughs> oh now, come on, come on. It's it's right on your way. It, it, it's right on your way, and she's all alone out there. She's who knows how many of these people there are running around. And, she, she's all by herself, and Red's coming back from Atlanta this afternoon, and she's all alone. Would you check on her, please? Please, Cody? Okay, I will. But you gotta promise to stay here until I come back and get you. Oh, all right, I, I promise. Uh, uh, God bless you, Cody. I have a feeling I'm gonna need God on this one. She's up there with you. Would you tell her, tell her how much I really loved her? Would you, would you tell her that she forgot to put the onions on my chicken salad sandwich? and I'll eat it anyway.
Marley. Sammy. Marley, where's Sammy? We were we were in the backyard and he was hitting his baseball and this guy out of nowhere came up and grabbed him and slammed him into the big tree. Is he okay? I I yelled stop and the guy came towards me. I came in here and hid in the bathtub and then he came in the house but he never got back this far. Is Sammy okay? I don't know. It's like this. And stay here, you hear me? Stay here. Cody! Stay here! Hey, Coach. Hey, buddy. I, I don't think I'm gonna make practice on Thursday. That's all right, buddy. You can miss Thursday. That's it. Coach. Don't, don't let my mama die. I, I tried to scare them off, but they were just too big for me. Don't worry, buddy. I ain't let anything happen to your mama. Your mom said there was one. How many were there? There's two. One went off when mama screamed, and the other went off towards the house. What, what, what's wrong, Coach? Nothing, buddy. I, I can't feel my legs, Coach. I'm gonna borrow this for a second, alright, buddy? Alright, Coach. Hey! Mom's safe, how you doing? Sammy, come on buddy, please. I let you miss two practices. Come on buddy, not like this.
Breaker Breaker 1-9, this is Big Daddy. Is there anybody out there? Come back, Breaker Breaker 1-9. Anybody hear me? Anybody hear me, huh? Can anybody hear me? Did you hear that? Let him go. That's why I'll kill you. Molly, stay in the car. Shoot this son of a bitch. I can't. But you don't kill both of you. Okay, hold up. Don't do that. Marley, get in the car! Get in the car! Why did you stay in the car?
know this baby is on its way. Randy! No, you ain't dead, right? Lena? To these dudes, it must have been some kind of prison break. Go get a blanket. There's more? You didn't answer my question. Is the truck running? Yeah. Cody. I don't know. What are y'all talking about? I asked Cody if there's more of whatever that thing is. Well, I don't know. Can you travel? Yeah. Listen, I don't know how many more are out there, but what I can tell you is I've already killed nine of these things within the last hour and a half. So get in your truck, get your wife and your baby, and get out of here. What about? I'll take your cell phone and I'll call you as soon as I find anything out. My cell phone isn't working. No service in the house on this That's weird. What is? When I found this marriage, Mary okay? When I found Miss Mary this morning, I got her phone and there was no service on hers either. Yeah, but what does that got to do with my truck? Us leaving? Absolutely nothing. Go get in your truck, drive straight to Austin to the hospital, and don't stop for nothing. Get out of here, man. Oh! Get out of here. Save yourself and anybody else that you can. What's going on? What kind of prisoners are these? Are they some kind of death row inmates? You don't stand a chance against these monsters, man. Monsters? What in the hell are you talking about? Oh! What are you looking for? There's a there's a black notepad, grab a black notepad. I call them monsters, because they are. They're prisoners, yeah. But once the government found out that- Found it. Wait, government? Hey, you said something about We're prisoners for a and bit. government? Dude, 
Lewis. What? Captain Captain James Lewis. Cody Upton. What do you mean we're safe for a bit? The monst the prisoners were a government experiment. Like like locusts. Trained to kill anything and everything in, in their path. Well, I know nine that won't be killing anymore. You killed nine of them? You some kind of special ops? Oh. No. I'm just a regular guy. <laughs> not if you killed not if you killed nine of them, no way. You're not, not regular guy by any means. What's going on? And what is that? Take this. Listen to me very carefully. sick. You'd be playing in the pros right now. And I wish you and Dalton could just... Save your breath. Hmm. Always trying to take care of me, aren't you? I want to say thank you. I love you. I love you too. But why are you home? Why aren't you in Dallas teaching school? Huh. In service day. I tried to stop him. But he was too big. And strong. And Shh. I did just what you told me. I didn't quit. And then he stabbed Dad. So I grabbed the knife and cut his throat. And just my luck, he 
you turn it around. And well, why is this happening to us? I don't know, baby girl, but I promise I'm gonna find out. Remember when Dad used to sing to me before we go to bed? Yeah, I remember. Sing to me? Kidding me? Oh, please. You must need a good laugh. She know I ain't no singer. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Oh, That's just something about that name. Doesn't make sense. Shows want to be right here. Damn it! Whoa. Papa Charlie. Good God, boy. Put that gun down before you hurt somebody. Go sit down. What the hell's going on? Try to get this some bitch to talk. Here, boy, drink up. What? <laughs> Listen, I was out taking a shit in the house, and this dumbass comes by my window, so I go outside and take a look. And you know what this sumbitch did? He attacks you. Well, he turned around and, and it started coming after me. That's what I just said. What the hell are you doing? Don't worry, he ain't talking. Uncle Charlie, this isn't Vietnam. Yeah, I know. If it was Vietnam, you'd already been dead. It has to do with the government. The government? All I know is... Boy, let me tell you about the government. Here we go. 
I served in the United States Army and I did some shit I couldn't tell you about. And if I had to tell you, I had to kill you. So don't tell me about the US government. All I know is I've killed nine of these things already. And with this, I know there's about 27 more out in town, killing everything in sight, like a swarm of locusts. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Back up a second. Say that again? Which part? Everything you know and how you know it. There was a bus tree I got by my mom and dad's place. And Haley was home. And by the time I got out to the wreck, I've already killed nine of those things. Skip ahead to where, where the government's involved and where you got that thing, what does it do? What are you doing? Keep it up, tell me what's going on. I climbed into the bus and the bus driver was still alive. He's the one that was telling me about the government and how they're using the, taking the prisoners and using them as test subjects. The test is called Charlie Boy. How do you know that? Get that pad out. How long did he say it was going to be before they get back and they want their project back? Lewis said nobody for about 10 hours. But by then he'd already wiped us all out. Not if we got anything to say about it. What are you talking about doing? We're going hunting, son. Watch the pad. <laughs> Uncle Charlie, what are you doing? Look at the pad now. The dot, it's, it's gone. How you know, did you know? You know, if it's the same project that it used to be. See, look here. See a scar? That's where they cut the voice box out. They used to talk about taking their tongue out. I saw the same one at the Boone's place, the guy I killed over there. Hang on a minute. Lewis had said something about a chip, like a dog? Here it is. This is crazy. Why would the government take prisoners, cut the voice box out, and put a chip in them? Soldiers. Soldiers? Yeah, the whole idea was to create a soldier that if captured couldn't talk. But this chip thing, who knows? We didn't have that back in. I'm not creating soldiers. Soldiers wouldn't kill innocent people. So I don't know what the hell they're trying to do. Hey boy, you got that cell phone with you? Yeah, but it don't matter. No cell service. No phone service in town, really. Figures. What? One, wipe out communication. Two, wipe out the enemy. Grab that pad, kid. We're going, huh? Oh, get that cooler too while you're at it. Really? Yeah, do what I say, boy. You can't go hunting without beer. All right, boy, tell me where we're going. Looks like the first dot is at third and maple. And it's two dots. Third and Maple. Wait, isn't that where? Agnes. Agnes, how you doing? Charlie Johnston, what are you doing? Hey, Miss Agnes. Cody, what is going on? And why is Charlie Johnston in my bedroom again? Man, I feel like a kid in a candy store. What are you talking about? Charlie Johnston! Did you put her in the closet? I had to. The thing jumped at me. Good. Let's go. I heard that, you son of a bitch! No. No, no. Did I hear you say good? 
Look, Agnes, as you can see, we're kind of busy right now, like killing people. He's right, Miss Agnes. We really need to go. Is you he... hush your mouth right now, Cody Upton. This is between your uncle and me. Then you can get back to saving the town. You know I'm not just some booty call. Oh, man. Yeah, but... but That's but... exactly how I felt when Betty May called me, told me you'd been to her house doing exactly the same thing with her. What? That old bitch is lying. She called me over to fix her lawnmower. I tried to call and tell you that, but you wouldn't answer your phone. I thought you were done playing mechanic and stranded motorist. Oh my god. You know I love our games and the sex is... Stop well. it, you two. <laughs> Talking like some teenage kids. Look, we gotta go. Agnes, you're coming with us. No, 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 no. I ain't let anything happen to my baby. I mean, we take her somewhere, you don't see these things, like the church or something. Yeah, what are those things? And what are they doing in my house? All right, good plan. Let's get out of here. with him too, did you? Long story, son. She's safe. This place gives me the creeps. Let's get out of here. It's a church. But after hearing all that back there, I can see why. Pastor Odell! We gotta go and try and stop this. Th this? What is this? What's happening to our town? I don't have time to explain. I keep the door locked, and a little prayer would help. Of course, of course. Lord, Watch over, protect Cody, and bring him safe to us. Give him the strength and the power to defeat this evil amongst us. In your name, <clears throat> and if you have to take Charlie Johnson, Lord, I understand. Amen. Good luck, son. Sometimes I just want to punch Cliff straight in the face. Cliff? Looks like there's four Achilles junkyard. Yeah, Cliff. Who's Cliff? All right. Sometimes I want to punch Pastor Odell straight in the face. You got some issues, Uncle Charlie. You know that, right? Well, let's just put it this way. He ain't the God-fearing preacher man you think he is. All I know is he's a town's preacher and my uncle wants to punch him in the face. Can we drop this, please? Fine. But I ain't done talking about this. Hey, is this a shortcut to Kelly's junkyard? Hell yeah, boy. Who do you think you're riding with?
It's a go. Just confirmed. How long till you can be ready? All right, I'll pick you up at five at the location. Get the chopper ready. You know, son, what pisses me off about all that? I thought we were done with that. No, you said you were done with all that. I didn't say anything like that. Well, it's not like we don't have enough stuff going on. But yes, what pisses you off about Pastor Odell? Well, the town's preacher used to be the town's not preacher. The town's preacher used to not be the town's preacher. That don't make any sense. That's right. Well, looks like there's one over there, and there's one in there. All right, well, you go that way, and I'll go in here. Let's just stick together. I got the pattern to know exactly where they are. If I knew exactly where they were, it wouldn't be hunting, would it, boy? You know, for a smart son of a bitch in this town, you say some dumbass things. You know that, boy? Just trying to stay alive is all. Well, you stay alive by shooting them. That's how you stay alive. Now, give me my beer, son. I got work to do. can't go hunting without a beer. Hold that, I'll be back. Come on out, little piggy, piggy, piggy. Hey, Cody. Hey. Brandon, what the hell are you doing? He's over there. He's over there. Who's over there? Why the hell are you here? I'm chasing the guy that shot Mr. Baxter, and he's right over there. Did you shoot him? Nah, Mr. Baxter shot him. It was like a Wild West shootout. What happened? Well, I heard a window smash, so I was headed up front when I heard gunshots. So I take a peek in the door. That dude shot Mr. Baxter, but Mr. Baxter grabbed his 45 and blasted the douchebag. So I grabbed Greta, shot at about 100 rounds at him, and he took off running. Give me some cover, I'm gonna go check it out. Hey, what's going on? I don't really know, but that guy that looks like an escape con, it's part of some sort of government experiment. Give me some cover. Okay. Why are you stopping? Dude, I said cover me. I am, but great, I don't shoot that far. What's that thing anyways? It shows me where these things are. Where'd you get it from? Wait, wait, things? There's more dudes like that? Dude, get somewhere safe and stay there. Wait, what about? Dude, he's dead. Don't worry about it. Get somewhere safe. Well, where you going? Uncle Charlie's over there hunting the other one down. I gotta go. Dead in my ass. Take that, bitch! Come back here, you son of a bitch, and meet your maker. Uncle Charlie, you in here? Yeah, I'm here. Come back here, you coward. What happened? Oh, he got a lucky punch. Or two. Uh. 
It doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah, good thing it was dark in here. I would have kicked his ass. No, not that. The reason I yell is because there's not a dot on the screen, which means there shouldn't be one in here anyway. Look, it shows three in the back, but not one in here. Look, kid, I didn't punch myself, so let's go out and do some hunting, man. What's up? Brandon, I told you to go home. What's he doing here? Same thing you guys are, killing these bastards. Brandon, you need to go home. Nope. Where's Arnold? He's dead, and I tracked the dude here. What is that? What is? It's an ICS SIG 551 SWAT gun rifle, AEG. Let me rephrase that. Can it kill anything? It can break the skin at close range. What does that say? Shows three to be in the back somewhere. Well, let's go hunting. I'm in. This ain't no hunting trip. This is life or death, and- Would you just listen to yourself, boy? Fact is, there are a bunch of crazy some bitches running around killing everybody in town, so if he wants to stay, he can stay. Thanks, Uncle Charlie. Uncle Charlie? Well, seems like his aunt and me. Dude, what are you, the town gigolo? Let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. Those three. One over there, one over there, and one back there somewhere. All right, well, I'll go this way. You and Rappin' Reggie go over there. Rappin' Reggie? Don't worry about it. Let's go. that for a long time. Hey, let me see that. Lord, why is this happening to us? Uh, Cody, this dot is moving kind of fast. What does that mean? <laughs> Nine problems, but this bitch ain't one. What? What? Oh, look. Charlie? Well, don't just stand there. Help me up and oh, find oh, my I'm, beer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> Some bitch spilled my damn beer. Well, what's going on? Well, if I told you that, I'd have to kill you. Really? No. Let's go find Cody and find the rest of these some bitches. 
Hey, look who I found back there. What's up? Sorry about barging onto your property. We've been chasing some bad dudes. Ah, don't worry about it. You always welcome here. Oh, Jughead put a whooping on the guy that I shot, and some bitch spilled my beer. So what's up, Cody? Long story, but I think it's about time we go hunting. Now you're talking, boy. Hey, you know you got a <clears throat> late fee at the video store, huh? Randy! You gave her a gun? Well, I had to. I went chasing him and told her to shoot anything that moves. Oh, she's <laughs> blind as a bat. Buster! Oh, she didn't shot my dog. Uh, hang on, we got something moving fast this way. All right, let's go. Brandon, hand me my gun. What about me? Go to the back of the truck. Gotcha. All right, which way? Brandon, me, Jackie! What am I looking for back here? Well, you're getting me a beer, and hurry up. Asshole. All right, where is it? Looks like it's coming from that way right there. Damn! Still got that beer? Got it. Now that will make a dent. Sweet. Where to now? How's your grandma? Oh, she's good. Killed a dove. Scared the hell out of Buster. So let's do this. Let's go kill some bad dudes. We're gonna need more ammo for that. Let's see. Well, I got a box of shells, a couple of clips of claymore mines, two homemade pipe bombs with a detonator switch. Oh yeah, also got a machete in the truck too. Holy crap! Why were you discharged from the army again? Mentally unstable. Explains a lot. Hmm. Well, I think I got a couple of rounds in the office and maybe a couple of clips for that. Well, let's do this. How many more we got to kill? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can somebody tell me what's going on? There was a bus wreck this morning. Had a bunch of ex-cons on it. Except they're part of some government experiment and they ended up in our town. We have no communication. And with us being 30 miles off the main highway, it seems to me this is an accident at all. Hmm, makes sense. What makes sense? Well, see, I was bringing Granny from my doctor's appointment, and I saw the bus, you no, know, and got out and looked and sent a couple of them dead guys, kind of like the one you shot, you know, and looked in on the bus driver, and you know, he, he's dead, and... His name was Lewis. He's the one that gave me this and told me what was going on, but he said he had lost control of the bus. No, no, no. Don't think so. Don't think so. Because, see, I got out and I looked underneath the bus, and that's when I sat up, and I was going to come back out later on and, and start stripping it. That's when I sat up and I noticed that there was a, a, a switch on the drive shaft. So, see, therefore, it all makes sense. You know, this was done on purpose. There weren't no accident. Uncle Charlie, you were right. About what? Brandon, give me a beer. Uh -huh. We can't hold up beer. Yeah, there you're talking. Well, let's do this. So how does this uh, hunt thing work? I mean, you got the pad, so... You let me worry about that. You got your tennis shoes on? You know it. Oh, man, how many more times I gotta risk my life? All right, I got the next one. Let's go. Now, down, mother. Gee, it won't. It won't. I'm trying. It won't.
Check your safety. Oh, very good. You got him. That's why they call you the bait. How many more, Cody? Six. Hey! Five more. One left. <laughs> yeah. So what's it say? Charlie's right. Shows one left. Let's head it towards the park. Regulators, mount up. Warren J. Young guns. Well, technically you're both right. All three of y'all shut up. Let's get out of here. Cody! I got this! I thought y'all said it was only one left. It did. Hey! How do you want to handle this? Go grab my bag out of the truck and while you're at it, I know. Get... I'll be here. Good, good, son. Turn around! I want you to look me in the eyes when I kill you. I said turn around! Where'd you get that gun? I said where'd you get the gun, son of a bitch? Alright, grab that smoke bomb out of that bag, throw it in there. When he comes running out, bang. Hell yeah! All right, Jughead, go cut the chip out of the back of that guy's neck. Okay. Charlie, look! Brandon, let's go. No, no, no. But he's gonna kill Cody. Stand down! What the hell's going Drop on? Drop your whip. Stand down! Put me down! Do it. Cody! You one tough SOB. Who the hell are you and what the hell is going on? Shut the hell up, son, before I have one of these soldiers put a bullet in your skull. Get him out of there before he drowns. I'm impressed by y'all and all that y'all have done. You killed a lot of innocent people. Yes and no. Actually, the ex-cons did, but... You created this experiment. Yeah, but what I want to know is how you guys know so much and how you three killed so many. You're going to pay for what you did. You're absolutely right. You think that check's gonna bring back my parents? Or my sister? Listen, son. Don't call me your son. You're lucky he's got that gun pointed on me. I'll kill you with my bare hands. I don't doubt that at all. So why revise Charlie Boy? Now see, that's the billion dollar question. The government is trying to create a super soldier that doesn't exist. So I took their idea and I tweaked it. But I'm not trying to create a super soldier. I'm trying to create the plague. All those people you killed were ex-cons. I'm not mad at that at all. But why us? Why here? To be honest with you, 
I just threw a dart at the map of Texas and it landed here. I can't bring back your folks or anyone else in this town, but take this check. It'll help get your town back on its feet. How can you get away with this? It's like this. Your town is gonna to save the lives of millions. How's that? These ex-con low-life scumbags, now they're not gonna be in a cell. They're not gonna live on welfare. They're gonna be working for us. So you put a chip in their back. You guys know a lot, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. Look, I'm just a contractor and it's supply and demand. And this project is in high demand. How come he never showed up on the pad? So that's how you killed them all. Yeah, we know about the bus wreck and how it was rigged. Found the driver and he told us everything. Lewis. I see Lewis never cared about the money. That's probably why he's dead now. But to answer your question, he was the first one I created. And I'm the only one that can track him. So you were tracking him all the time. That's right. You know, satellites are so expensive. And with technology these days, all I had to do was pop one eye out, put a camera in, and I was able to get all the data I wanted. I got a team out now gathering all the chips and I'll be able to see exactly what happened. You're gonna ride in hell. Probably so. But I'm gonna make a lot of money until then. I might just buy my way into heaven. <laughs> Let's go. Take this check for 25 million. It'll help get your town back on its feet. I'm sorry for your loss. This is war. And sometime, war costs more than money. We can't let them get away with this. But what can we do about it? What's this for? Well, when I cut that chip out, I seen they had the guns drawn on you, and I, I figured it wasn't no good. So as I walked over, I dropped your backpack in the truck. You some bitch. I just hope we're not out of range. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Look at the I guess we weren't. What just happened? Did you blow it up? Yeah, I believe I did. You're one crazy son of a bitch. You know that, right? Yeah, well. Let's just hope the check still cashes. <laughs> Regulators! Mount up! Sir, sir, you must take a look at this. Let me see it. These are some of the cards we pulled off those test subjects. Who is this? Sir, his name is Cody Upton. <laughs>